Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about footbin.com, the best supplementary website there is to go alongside of FIFA Ultimate Team. I'm gonna take you guys through how to make some coins on FIFA by using this website. There's a lot of stuff this website offers and I wanna take you through all of it today and especially through some of the most helpful tips that I can give you about watching the market, knowing SBC, uh, trading with SBC squad solutions, knowing the player game performance tab, knowing about the market indexes, just all the stuff that this website can do. It can help you make coins in FIFA just because this is such a powerful research tool. This is the best FIFA website that is just a other than being on the game, this is the next best place to do. And especially for research, for player prices, looking at graphs, and just kind of getting a basis and a sense of what could be a good investment when prices are low, when prices are high. This website is a great research tool among many, many other things. By the way, Footbin, if you want to partner up, hit me up, man. Always open to it. This is the best website on FIFA Ultimate Team. And, uh, I would love to rep it. Just saying, all right? Cheeky plug. Anyways, let's talk about this website, footbin.com. If you guys have never heard of it, I'm sure you have. But let's talk about a few things that we can do. Of course, we know that you can look at player prices. It'll show you the, the price uh, updated, usually within a couple minutes. Of course, now at the end of the year, there's just not as much hype. So three hours, four hours. You know, of course, when there's more special cards in the game as we get towards the end of the year, a lot of the special cards get updated faster and more often because those are the cards people are searching up more. Um, you know, I know Footbin has multiple different ways of how they actually get their prices updated, um, but we'll talk about that in a little bit anyways. Uh, but these get updated pretty quickly. So this is very reliable, especially early on in the game. Of course, all the in-game stats, the best chemistry style you can put on each player. But this is what a lot of people come to Footbin for, these graphs, because these graphs are so detailed they're, you know, they start right away. Last year, we had the footbin graph starting earlier than ever. They actually started during the web app. In years prior, they only started on the um, either the EA Access kind of release or uh, right around the actual early access. So when people pre-order the game, that's when the, the footbin app and the footbin uh, website graphs would start up. Um, but last year, they started with the web app date. And I think that is going to happen again this year. I would expect it to. As you can see, the first day was the Thursday. So technically, that was the first full day that the web app was out last year for FIFA 20. So yes, we all know, all right? It shows you the cards. You can look at the graphs. You can go down to an hourly graph. We're going to spend so many like videos, so many different hours just looking at these graphs and kind of explaining and analyzing what that shows us. This is the biggest part the Footpin gives, in my opinion, that we just love. Uh, and the way they present it to us, clean, simple, look good, looking great. And you you can, of course, make so many coins off of these hourly graphs and daily graphs, knowing fluctuations and knowing which kind of cards move when certain promos or certain things come out in the game, uh, certain link investments, of course. This These hourly graphs will kind of show you rarity as well. If you know a card is more rare, you're going to see those ups and downs a lot more than a card that isn't as rare. So that's the big thing that people come to flipping for. But there's a lot of other things that get overlooked. And those are the things I want to talk to you about today. Things you may not know that will help you make some extra coins in this game as well. This is one of the best additions last year, I thought. Just a side note for the chemistry style voting. Of course, people want to anchor on this uh, Lucas Hernandez card. That is a GG. All right. Back to the homepage, just for a bit. I want to show you guys a couple little parts of this website that you may not have known. Now, this website literally has everything, man. You can look at objectives. You can look at, you can build a squad. You can do a foot draft simulator. What? It, like, what? You can, like, open packs on this website that are, like, they really mean nothing, but you can open packs. So, if you ever get a pack, you know, the hankering to open some packs, and it's, like, November, and you're like, man, I don't want to put FIFA points in. There's no good cards in packs. Just come on Footbin and rip some packs, curb your sensation, and then get back to trading, right? That's how you can do it. Anyways, I want to show you the first thing that a lot of people don't know, and it is the cheapest by play, cheapest rating, um, cheapest players by rating tab on this game. How you get here is you go to the SBC drop down and you click on cheapest players by rating. This is the money page. We're going to look at this so many times this year. I've looked at this this page almost every single video on my channel that is like a market update or a market analysis video. We look at this page almost every day because SBCs drive this page and with more and more content coming out from EA Sports, 
We have to know when is SBC fodder rising, when is SBC fodder dropping. This page right here is your one-stop shop just for seeing the prices per rating, what they're going for of SBC fodder, the lowest player, the lowest prices of players by that rating. So this is a huge, huge page that we're going to use a lot throughout the year. I'm going to link all these different pages inside of Footpin down below in the description so that you know where to go to find these as well instead of just for me showing you. But you go to the SBC dropdown for this. Go to cheapest players by rating. This is so useful if you're an SBC investor, even if you like to trade with SBC cards. It's going to show you in here some of the cheapest players that are listed up by rating. And as well, if you're somebody that likes to trade with Footbin Solutions or SBC Solutions, these pages right here will be crucial for you too because these guys that are actually shown as the cheapest, Arangiz, you know, maybe Daily Blind, Jovic, Pereira, Ramsey, they're some of the cheapest 83s right now. But if it's a time where the market is popping, a lot of people are doing SBCs, these cards are in demand, a lot of times the guys that actually show up as the cheapest are not actually the cheapest because Footbin will register that price at 6,000 coins for let's say a guy like Ramsey, but then he gets put in the cheapest solution. People are looking for the cheapest solution and a time where his card does not get upgraded on Footbin, the price doesn't get upgraded at 6k people start buying up 6,000 coins 6,200 6,500 maybe even up to seven eight thousand coins this card will get sales at in a fluctuation because he's in the cheapest solution on footbin that's what we're going to talk about next as you look in a lot of these squads let's look at this Leeds United Rodrigo Moreno card all right we're going to click on completed challenges and we are going to see, if we sort by price here, the cheapest version of this SBC is right here. 151K for this Rodrigo card. And you're going down the list, you're like, wow, the next cheapest is 172 and then 190? This could save me 40,000 coins off of that second solution. All right, well, if we go out and look at these players, you know what? You're paying 82K for a DeVry. And if you actually went out and looked on the market, since this SBC solution is rated this low, I doubt if you actually go out and buy all of these players right now for what they are on the market, I doubt it's what it exactly says it is because everybody else that wants to do this SBC, when it is out of the time, especially if it's just dropped, if it's hype in the first 24 hours of when a big time SBC drops or a repeatable icon upgrade SBC or something that is a repeatable SBC that requires more than just like 11 gold players, you're going to see a lot of these cards actually be a lot higher than what they say. Savage might not be 4.5K, he might be 5K. Navas might be 30, Calajon might be 12, you know? Stuff like that happens a lot because people are looking for the cheapest solution. So they go on here, sort by price. It shows them that it's the cheapest, but the prices are actually more expensive on the market. And that is a way you can make coins is by noticing those trends and flipping cards, just like we do with Informs icons. Cards on the lower end of the SBC fodder range fluctuate all the time based off of this stuff too. Of course, it is dependent on demand and there has to be SBCs out that people want to do. But that is something that a lot of people have done. This has grown a lot in popularity, especially this last year. And I expect it to be even bigger this year with more and more content released every year from EA Sports. Let's go on to another market type thing right here. This is the index page. This is one of the indexes, the icon index page. I use the icon indexes, the special card index, the gold card index. Basically, if you go to the top row here, you drop down on market and it shows you all of these indexes. Basically what these indexes are, if you look, I think there's like a little info page somewhere in here. It, sh it shows you or it'll maybe tell you like what exactly is, oh, what is this page right here? I guess I could just look a little bit further. Basically, it tells you what some of these indexes do. Index icon tracks the price of all icons. Of course, that'll be 100 for FIFA 21. The players in these indices are weighted uh, equal and for their independent value of price, they can be used to measure how the player prices develop over time. Let me just give you the easy way to explain this. This right here is a 24 hour live graph of how the market of icons, especially, has moved. This is very, very useful on a Sunday, on a Saturday with Week and League sell off. You see a lot of this stuff turning down. And it's also very useful on a Wednesday night or a Thursday of rewards where we had the market usually going up, Thursday flipping. This is the kind of the way you can see, hey, the market's doing good on this Thursday after awards, or maybe the market's kind of staying even keel, or maybe even going down depending on what's going on in the game. But I use this page a ton on Thursdays and honestly Fridays too. I use this page a lot on Fridays because what happens is you usually see a lot of 
sell-off into the morning of a new promo coming on a Friday. Maybe the first hour or two, you see another little bit of a dip. And then after that, people buy their teams for Weekend League and you see this graph especially shoot straight up because icons are rare, they're not very packable, and people need them in their squads for FIFA. That's one of my favorite ways to trade, to be completely honest with you, is promo Friday trading. And this year is going to be great for that, of course, as always. And this graph is going to be a big help because it's also going to show you possibly some icons that might be trending downwards or trending upwards. If you're an icon trader, these players down here. Now, a lot of people know about this. So sometimes you have to be quick with it, right? You might have to sit here, refresh this page a couple times and wait for a player to pop up that wasn't in the original list. Uh, let's say like this, um, let's say this Stoichkov card just popped up, right? It says 28 minutes ago, let's say updated 28 seconds ago. You say, boom, all right, there's one at 139 and there's just got an undercut at 128. I'm gonna go snag that 128 or I'm gonna go add that to my watch list and hopefully see that somebody looks on Footbin and says, hey, the lowest price is 128. That means I'm gonna undercut that by four, five, 6,000 coins. But then if you go down and look at the graph, you're like, man, I might be able to get a sale and like 140,000 coins on this card from his normally normal daily trends, right? And that's where you can make a lot of coins with the icon index and with these prices in here. And again, one thing that I just mentioned is a common thing that we see on Footbin that a lot of people don't know about as well, right? Storchkov right now is listed at 128, right? A lot of people, let's say somebody who plays FIFA, they just packed this middle 90 rated Storchkov as an icon card, they're stoked. They're like, how much? does this card sell for? What they're gonna do is, they're gonna go on Footbin. They're gonna search up Stoichkov. They're gonna see this. They're gonna see he's going for 128K on the PlayStation, 168 on the Xbox. And they're like, all right, I just wanna get my coins. I wanna get the sale. So you might undercut by 10,000 coins. At this price level, a 10,000 coin undercut, you can make some profit off of that. So a lot of times what you'll see is when somebody is on a downtrend on the market, right? Some of these icons, especially in terms of icon trading, this can be very useful because you'll notice the cards on a downtrend. You can sit on that card or sit on the 59th minute and look for undercuts and snipes and make even more coins that way. So that's why I love this index page. It is very, very useful. I use it all the time during the heat of the year when trading is popping and it's great, right? Use this page. You're going to love it. All right. One other thing I want to show you. The FIFA 20. This is 20, of course. The PGP player game performance. This is key. Yes, this is key early game, all right? This is something that you need to know how to use this in, in early game FIFA 21 this year, right? Click the players tab, drop down to PGP, player game performance. I'm gonna sort this by gold cards just to show you how it's gonna look in the first couple months of FIFA 21. Check this out, right? This is what we use it for, the total number of games played. The most used gold card in FIFA 20 was Neymar, the most used gold cards, Neymar, Kylian Mbappe, Varane, Conte, Semedo, Sun, Walker, Frillin, Mendy, Van Dyke, Langley. All right. This is massive. In the first two or three months, this page right here is going to show you who people are using in their squads. All right. It's going to show you what cards are kind of meta. And this is going to help you out with Thursday and flipping investments. It's going to help you out with just trading in general. You're, if you know which cards are hyped up and which cards people want to buy, you look at some of these guys that are on this list at the top, man. Their price has fluctuated all year long. And of course, not... I mean, look at this graph, bro. Every single week with Mbappe, dude. His graph looks like a rib, right? It looks ribbed. That just means that there's a lot of hype for this card. He's constantly bouncing up and down. Now, of course, you look at the full trend for the year and it goes up and then it trickles downwards. But again, you see all these ribs, right? And these on a card like this, when you're going from a graph that goes down to like, what? 50,000 coins all the way up to 1.2 mil. Some of these swings are pretty pretty drastic, man. Look at this. We have one week, Monday, he's 970. By the end of the weekend, weekend league, he's a mil. 50. So that's almost 100,000 coins. Dips down to about a mil again. Dip goes up to 1.1 the next weekend. Goes down to 1.05. Back to 1.1. Down to 105. Up to 1.15, uh, right? These cards like this on the PGP page are the ones that fluctuate the most and they're really good to trade with early on. You're gonna see Informs in here. Inform Surge Aurier last year in FIFA 20 was like one of the top cards on uh, this, this screen right here, the PGP, because he was one of the most used Informs um, in the game. 
And you look through a lot of these gold cards and it just goes to show you uh, what kind of cards. Now, of course, this looks a lot different right now because, you know, and Neymar, Mbappe, Varane, Conte, these guys were used a lot at the end of the game as well. But some guys on here probably weren't used to as much since the beginning of the game. Usman Dembele, still 14 million games. Musa Sissoko, 13 million games on an 81 rated gold card, right? Uh, who else in here? There's there's some other really low rated cards that are mostly like early game players. Ferland Mendy, 18 million games on an 80 rated left back card. Now, we all know the story about him, but still, that's pretty crazy. So... Again, if I had to give you guys a tip for using Footbin in FIFA 21, all I would say is learn the website, poke around, look through some of these things, right? This ones to watch uh, and player of the month live tabs under this live section right here. This is so very useful. These get updated very quickly and it's very nice for tracking player of the month cards with investments, uh, with, you know, an SBC that comes out like this, you know, you're going to learn which cards are going to move, right? That Vardy SBC that came out, player of the month Vardy. They came out early in the year last year, just destroyed all Premier League strikers and a lot of strikers throughout the game because his card was so cheap and and uh, just good value at the time. The last thing I'll show you is just the entire players list, right? If you go to players drop down, FIFA 20 players, this is like the number one place to do research on finding players in a certain position. I love this page by either searching, sometimes rating, if we have a lot of promo cards and you wanna search 85 raids with promo cards, or let's say I want to search for good SBC fodder or good, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of players needed very soon at the early stage of FIFA 21 for the advanced SBCs, right? So let's look at left backs that are Spanish. How many Spanish left backs did we have that were gold, of course, because we don't care about tots and all these SBC cards at the start of a new game. So last year, these were all the Spanish left backs that we had. All right, Regulon is a non-rare. Uh, Jose Angel, Escudero, Johnny, like this is the kind of stuff that I would look at if do, I'm doing a research on Footbin. Now, of course, we don't have the full database yet. Hopefully that comes soon. It didn't come yesterday. Hopefully it does come soon. But the biggest thing here is I just wanted to show you guys the amount of stuff that this website can do is incredible. You can look at past FIFAs. There's cards in here from FIFA 10. Unbelievable. The latest cards to be added. Again, a little bit of a snippet of the most popular page on Footbin, the current team of the week. New players, you can tell when they update price ranges. Um, that's in here somewhere, yeah, price range updates. You can look at all the lists of team of the weeks. I didn't even show you guys this. During the during the year, this is a very popular page that we look at because Footbin puts all these team of the weeks together and we can go through and it's a really nice way to keep track of prices and you know if we're trying to trade cards and stuff like that. So that's a GG. Um, and then of course, I can't mention Footbin without talking about the tools, right? There's a thing called the Footbin import. Um, now, I think if I go in here, it might tell me what to do. But yeah, basically you can use this website. And if you haven't looked up anything on this, it's very easy, very self-explanatory. But basically you log into Footbin, you log into the web app, and Footbin will analyze how many coins you have in your club on tradable items. And it will tell you, if, it's a great way to basically to find if you have a lot of silvers or bronzes that might be selling for some astronomical value or even non-rare golds um, when certain SBCs come out. You know, it's, it's good to do. Some people do it once a week. It's something kind of good to do if you want to. And as of right now, I don't think it's against terms of service. So again, Footbin is the best website to do a lot of your research on. Big ups to Footbin. They've been killing it for the past couple of years. They've really cemented themselves as number one, in my opinion, as best website to use. Um, but I just wanted to bring this video to you guys today to give you some tips how to use this website to maximize your profit in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. If it enjoyed you in any way, if it helped you in any way, or if you found enjoyment in it, we'll say that. Smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.